After watching the video on the volleyball player blocking the spike, even though you can't see her in the frame, um, she is pretty much cut off, uh, you do see her hands making contact with the ball, blocking it, and redirecting it. And based on what you can see, um, and you see the end results after the spike and the block, you can confidently say that the player took a near perfect approach in 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 the process of blocking a spike and um and how we can determine that is again based on the end result and knowing the mechanics or the run up or the steps of blocking a spike so as a as a defender in a volleyball match in the front line back line as well too um you have to take in so much information instantaneously where where is where's the libero where's the setter where's where's the spiker coming from uh, again is there a, is there a play being set or a play being developed so once you take in that information especially in the front line you you assess and you put yourself in position uh being out of position is being too far back too close to the back line um maybe your 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 run up to the to the block is three or four steps when it should be in reality one two steps if you're the front line and so after you assess you take your approach one two steps after you know where the spike is coming from once you go ahead you can press down you explode up and at the same time simultaneously you lift your hands up almost as if you're going to fly up in the air just like superman so you assess, you attack, fly like Superman, build that wall. And instead of just pushing the ball straight back, that could just go to, um, the, uh, to, to the player that's right behind the spiker making, you know, an easy, an easy dig. Um, you need to actually redirect it. So this is actually going to throw the defense off guard. And so you can kind of see that you can you can see that in the end results again defender takes a run up compresses jumps blocks not just blocks but blocks and redirects and so after the spike has happened defender blocks redirects the opposing team has no idea where the ball is going they kind of tell but again just because of that redirection you see they're caught off guard off balance and leading to a point for the for the team defending the spike and so uh, again, based on that, you can, with minimal information or even just the end result, you can always tell if the approach was effective, if the steps taken were in order, the proper steps, um, and if and if the end result was not what you were looking for, you can also do an effective analysis breakdown of that as well.